Hello, I'm Bri Grills, and today I'm going to show you a few things that I always take to the woods whenever I go hiking. Um, people go hiking, take numerous things. Uh, it's all down to your personal personal choice and your objectives for the day, really, what you're going to be doing. Um, I always like to have uh, a cup of coffee when I'm out on the trail, which is why I always bring my trusty jet boil. Um, in my jet boil, it's got the the pot stand and uh, the burner, the, the the little gadget that you sit on the bottom of the gas canister to keep it steady, uh, stop it tipping over. Um, I don't always use that; it depends on the surface. But this jet boil has been with me. I've taken it everywhere. Um, you know, it's been it's been to Brecon, been to Penny Van, sat at the top there with me. Uh, it's been to Dartmoor, um, you know, and it's it's been all around on numerous hikes uh, around Kent, uh, you know, Devon, Wales, uh, you know, wherever I've been. This jet boil usually isn't far away. I always have the jumbo sized gas. Uh, mainly because this is the one that came with the jet boil. Um, it has got a slight, uh, it's slightly deformed at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I don't know what's happened there. Um, but yeah, when I was bought this, this jet boil, it was a gift from my daughter uh, for a birthday or Father's Day or Christmas, whichever one it was. Um, and it's, it's, it's probably hands down my most frequently used uh, piece of equipment you know it's um it's probably the one thing i use for hiking all the time uh now there's another thing that i use very frequently and that's this power bank it's uh now the little it's been knocked around it's been bashed up it still works it's got two usb ports it's got a little little uh, LED light at the end. Uh, it's got a little indicator there so you can see how much power you've used. It's 20,000 milliamp hours, which is a big one. Again, that was a gift from my daughter uh, for either Christmas. I think it was Christmas. Um, you know, now uh, they're, they're handy to have for when you stop. Uh, what I usually do is because I track my my hikes using my phone. Another piece of equipment I never go without. Um, so I'll track my hike so I'll know where I've been and how many miles I've done, etc. And then when I've stopped using my jet boil for a cup of coffee, I'll use my power bank to just recharge my phone uh, to keep it keep it topped up, you know, because because phones do do use a certain certain amount of power even when you're not intending to now if you don't have an enormous 20,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank these little ones that I bought from a large supermarket chain let me just see 3,350 milliamp hours now they're good um, I should really just bring this because I'm never out hiking for for days at a time if I was hiking for days at a time I'd, I'd definitely bring this but these these little ones a, a good for you know if your phone is you know sort of 50 percent this will this will top it up uh it's got no little flashlight or anything it has got well it turns out this one's completely flat it has got a little led indicator uh to tell you how much power's in it this one that i've picked up i've, I've got about three of these three or four um the one i've picked up happens to be completely and utterly flat um but yeah, so the jet boil, this power bank is, is, you know, things that come with me. Now, it's all right having batteries, but you are going to need to make sure you bring a lead for whatever it is you want to charge. There's been a couple of times when I've been hiking and I've gone to charge my phone. And look at that, wouldn't you believe it? I forgot to pick up a lead because it's uh, indoors plugged in. So what I did was I just bought myself a lead dedicated for for living with this 
this power bank so it can always stay together, always stay in my bag. Where one goes, the other goes. Let's, let's, what's standing there holding that for? Let's put it in my pocket. Um, so you've got your, your phone lead indoors plugged into the usual outlet. And then, you know, this, this one is dedicated purely for hiking and, and going out to play, as it were. Um, so that's that's two of the things. One more thing. Um, oh, also, I like to, uh, I will bring uh, the charger for GoPro batteries. And that takes a different lead to that. So if you're gonna be wanting to charge your GoPro batteries, you will need to bring the correct lead. It's just remembering, doing a check on what you're gonna bring. Um, because, you know, otherwise you'll, your experience could be sort of ruined a little bit. Now, another thing that I, that I like to have in my bag um, is, is, he says, is this little knife. Um, it's a little, little short blade. It's nice and sharp. Um, it's a legal, legal carry in the UK because it's not a fixed, ow. It's not a fixed blade. It's got a little clip, and that's how it, the clip is what what you do to retract it. Um, and I actually caught my thumb in between the in between that. But it's a nice little blade. Um, I had I had this one with me, and I was hiking. I was over the far side of these woods early one morning, and I was making my way along the trail. It was just coming up onto um, sunrise. And I could hear some commotion and disturbance in the, in the bushes ahead of me. So I slowed down to assess the situation and I thought, what is going on? What's happening here? And then I heard a man's voice call out and ask, uh, you know, if I had a knife with me. And luckily I did. Luckily I had this trusty knife. And he said, there's an animal trapped in the... In the in the in the bushes he said make your way back up the trail he said jump over the gate and come back to me so okay so you know we'll just we'll see how this situation develops we'll see what unfolds and as so i made my way back down he was holding on to a long piece of twine and there was a stag with these huge antlers and the st it was twine from i think a farmer had laid out some twine to mark out a boundary of his field or where he was plowing or whatever it was it was sort of thick industrial twine and it got the 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 stag had got caught up in it and the man was holding the holding the, the twine as best he could to try and stop the stag from you know hurting himself and he said quickly come you know so we just give the, the you know run the blade through the twine and the stag was gone and the stag run he hit legs and he bolted right across the path I'd been on just a few seconds previous. Let's just touch that just to make sure. Um, he'd run, he bolted up the path I'd just been on. And if, if I'd come face to face with this enormous animal, I think it would have definitely been uh, brown trouser time. It wouldn't have been, uh, you know. So anyway, so anyway, the animal was freed and, and all was well always right with the world again i had a chat with the man and we, we walked along the trail together and then we parted ways you know but but the the day was saved by just a simple knife it's only a short blade i think that's a two inch blade you know it's not a fixed blade make sure i don't catch my finger again it's not a fixed blade it just sits nicely it's, you know so you can clip that onto your belt or your keys or whatever you know nice little blade and um pop that in your pocket and you're good to go now also what i do always have um is my my victory Knox swiss card um which is is credit card sized and it's got scissors and a little blade uh, tw uh nail file screwdriver uh, tweezers i've done a video on this before toothpick and a little stylus and of course it's got a ruler as well built in. Actually what I could do for the sake of good order is I could, I could measure this blade, couldn't I? And see what it actually, you know, from the, 
there to there. Um, let's go from the other way. There to there is seven centimetres. Oh, hang on. Just under three inches. So, so there we go. So it's a legal carry. But if you, as long as you're, you keep it in your bag, you know, and you're not wandering around the high street, say, waving it around like some sort of lunatic, then, you know, I think you're good to go. It's all to do with context, isn't it? If you're, if you're out in the woods and you've got a knife in your bag, in the, in the little pocket in your bag, you know, then that's, that's one thing, isn't it? But so there we go. Um, some of the things that I do like to, that I'll, I'll always have that jet boil, that's for certain. So uh, let me know uh, what you always take with you when you're hiking or, you know, just popping out for a little, uh, a little walk in the woods, whatever it is you like to do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.